Well, well, well. What a turn up for the books that is. That's interesting, isn't it? I'm going to, I'll go into um, what happened earlier in a minute, but first off, and the reason for this video is I did find out some information earlier when I spoke to Evo. And so this video is for Captain N, the games master. Oh dear me. Oh dear, it didn't work out how you wanted, did it? All this, all that planning, all that fucking planning. And where's it got you? I think maybe you'll still have a bit of a hope with Kiwi because he'll have anyone going at the moment to bolster his army against me for some reason. He's got it in for me and always has, so I'm sure you'll be up his arse. Um, and as, that is the last port of call because he really is the bottom rung of everything. So yeah, go for it. But mate, none of it worked out how you wanted, did it? Eh? You turned up on my channel when I did that video, um, Spirit of the Age, and then left a comment and then you deleted it, like you do. And then you um, came about, what, two or three months later it was? Two or three months later. So you've been sat planning this for three fucking months and look where it's got you. Do you know why? Because you're a fucking idiot and you can't fucking run a fucking piss up in a brewery, mate. That's why, because look, you've had everything. You've had literally all the opportunities. You've, you've made the opportunities. You made them, you made them work, but you couldn't make it work. You couldn't actually play the opportunity, could you? Because your personality is so fucked up. You're so heavy handed. You're so needy. You're so desperate. And you couldn't, you've got no patience. You are straight and you want that, that fucking short term fucking uh, result. And you need it all the time. You need more and more and more. None of it is satisfying to you. There's just no thought, really. You've got your planning and you know how to scheme, but the actual understanding, acceptance, and real understanding and dynamism that is required, you just, you fell short, didn't you? You massively fell short. And I do believe that's probably what happened in the last place you were at. Because it's the same fucking play again, isn't it? Because what Evil told me was that as soon as... I started saying anything towards you, which I think I was more than righteous to be able to say something to someone as fucking sneaky, insidious and cancerous as you. And um, you apparently did a video doxing me straight up that months ago, apparently, which is in, isn't that what you were saying? You said, you said to me, oh, it was a bit messy how I fell out with that girl. And there was a few things that I did that I feel a bit bad about, but everybody was having a go at me and it was terrible. It was an awful situation. Everyone turned on me. They were making videos about me. They were taking clips of my voice. Yeah. Fucking hell. You are not. You don't belong here, mate. You don't belong here. Um... So I just wanted to uh, to say about that one because that one's been a thorn in my side for fucking ages and I'll tell you something, that's the best news I've fucking heard all day that you've deleted your shit. But I know you'll be back. You're in here. You're going to be in here forever. You're like a splinter that's just in there now. And you're always just going to be here watching from the sides. Just like you were doxing fucking people to me from your old community in the chat, in the privates, in those days, back in those days, yeah? So, you're just still going to be hanging around like the cantankerous piece of shit that you are. Where's she gone? She's there now, look. Look at them, they're about to have the babies. Um, the other thing I was just uh, going to respond to is the fact that, obviously, I had a bit of a chat with Evil today, which was nice. And uh, it was Evil, Red Bull and Nika. Um, and, yeah, weird, weird result. I mean, I expected to be banned straight away when I went in, but when I saw it was just evil Red Bull and Nika talking, I was just like, there's no way I'm not going in there to say hello. And um, I'm glad I did. I'm really glad I did. Now I don't know how long it's going to last because we know that Ricardo will push back. And we, this has happened, I think this is probably the fourth time that me and Evil have made up, so to speak, or been civil with each other at least. Um, so we'll see how long it takes from now for Ricardo or Kuya, one of the two. <laughs> we know that the force comes from Kuya, um, but the tool is Ricardo. So from both of them, though, they've both got a vested interest in keeping this going. 
Um, so, and we've got, and they've both got no, no relevancy apart from mining someone else's past relationship. So we don't know what the outcome of that's going to be, do we? But suffice to say, it's nice to be civil again. This is what I've said in the past. I've never had a fucking problem with evil. I think he's behaved like a bit of a bell end over the course of uh, the situation. But, you know, we all do sometimes. And, um, yeah, I am not letting these other people's fucking agendas get in the way of me and my friends, like I said at the beginning. Fucking Kuya was never my friend. And Ricardo is no one's fucking friend, not even his own. So they can all fuck off. But my friends that I was friends with before, I am not letting those people fuck me off. Um, we can at least be civil with each other. So yeah, there's that update for that. And uh, yeah, Tyler, fucking kiss my ass, mate.